Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul, and I am so happy to be with you connecting. And it's a Wednesday coming at you from Hawaii, where it is a very cold and crisp 65 degrees. I don't think I've seen it this cold here in Oahu in a couple years. So I'm not complaining, though, just uh, rubbing it in a little. Anyway, <coughs> it's uh, December 20, 2018. We're about five days away from Christmas, moving up very fast. And today is day seven of the 10 days of the 10 das. And the last six days, <coughs> last six days when I do the live streams, have been filled with great wisdom and blessings. Uh, today we're focusing on da chang sheng, which is a Mandarin Chinese word, which means the greatest flourishing. And this is directly related to uh, flourishing, not only in financial flourishing, which is what most people default to, but flourishing with our health, flourishing in relationships, flourishing with our finances, of course, but flourishing in every aspect of life. So needless to say, this was one of the most popular subjects. And so uh, if this resonates with you, I encourage you to stick around. <clears throat> this, um, this week, we have been focusing on today's Wednesday. So I covered the uh, fifth and the sixth of the 10 DAWs. So for those new just tuning in, if you had not heard of this before, the 10 DAWs are the 10 greatest qualities. And they are Da I, the greatest love. Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Da Tzu Bei, the greatest compassion. Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. Again, these are Mandarin Chinese and then translated to English because my teacher is Mandarin Chinese. There is then what we covered this week, which is Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility. And yesterday we covered Da He She, the greatest harmony. Today is Da Chang Sheng, greatest flourishing. And tomorrow we, were gonna, we are going to cover a Dagan Un, greatest gratitude. <clears throat> and it would appear that on uh, the 25th, which is Christmas, and the, uh, the day after, so on the day after the 26th is when we will actually start back in and go into the 7th and 8th Da, because... I take Fridays uh, and apply that time for other responsibilities. I'm only here Monday through Thursday on the live streams. <clears throat> so we'll take a moment and catch up with everybody who's joined us. So welcome to uh, Heather. Welcome, Don. Aloha, Vanessa. Uh, and welcome, M.A. Drake. Welcome also, Anne-Marie Grant and Agote Renate. Welcome also to Carol Federico. And welcome, uh, Rachel Buchanan. Welcome, Ferdy Cruz. Coming in from China, it was yesterday, so I don't know where you're at today. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome also to uh, Lisa Rollins. Welcome, Carol Whitney, and aloha, Janice. Aloha, Vanessa Lival. <coughs> aloha, and welcome, Ilona. And welcome, Catherine. Welcome also to Joy Home. Aloha, and welcome, Pamela and Dio. And welcome, Lisa Zarniak. Welcome also, Felicia. And aloha, Kate Nada. So thank you for joining today. <clears throat> I was doing a little preparation uh, because today I'm operating off my desktop, which gives me a little more latitude and flexibility with what I can show you. They now have share screen options. So I'll be able to put up some of the words of the mantra for the seventh day of the seventh das, and you'll be able to see it uh, at the same time as we're chanting it. So that'll be a nice addition to, uh, to this service. So I look forward to that. I'm going to, yeah, we'll just leave it up like that. Okay. So as more people gather, and I do ask you to please hit the share button. Let other people know about this service today. Uh, Kristen, who is typically my right-hand person, assisting me a lot, she's a universal servant, won't be joining us today, and she's usually out there sharing, letting other people know about this. So we need you to do your part today. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Pankaj Rocky. And welcome also to anybody else whose name I failed to mention. <clears throat> so let us go ahead and place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. And we're going to drop the left hand in front of our heart center. The right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And we're going to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. I'll invite in the beings of light. So dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, 
Dear our beloved Creator, by whatever name you go by. Dear all of our Heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, our angels, our healing angels, our archangels, our masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, and saints, Buddhas, and bodhisattvas. I love you, I honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. We invite you to please come to sit with each and every one of us, to bless us in this practice today, in this wisdom, and guide us to further develop our flourishing to bring more flourishing in our health, bring more flourishing in our relationships and in our finances and more as appropriate. We ask forgiveness for this in all lifetimes that we might have brought a lack of flourishing to anybody's life. Whatever we may have done, we sincerely, deeply and sincerely apologize. We ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony to please at this time join with us. <clears throat> and we ask all souls in all universes to please turn on the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. And as we chant, to offer their unconditional service. So most of those joining today are not new. There might be a few. Aloha Shelly, Aloha Thweeba. So in case you are new watching this on a recording, uh, this is a source soul song. This song carries very high healing frequencies. It is a downloadable song. You can download it from lovepeaceharmony.org. I'm filling in right now on the chat. And uh, it is a free uh, song, and uh, copyright has been removed. So it's a way to serve humanity. And trust me, when I say it's a healing mantra, I'm not kidding. Just play it in your room, and you'll know what I mean. So let's chant together to offer this service and to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Lula, Lula, li. Lula, Lula, Lali. Lula, Lula, Lula. Lula, Lula. Lula, Lula. Oh, I Early, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. And there are actually quite a few of Master Shah's centers that chant this song uh, for an hour or so to serve humanity. Last night we did it in Honolulu, so it's every Tuesday night in Honolulu, which might be morning for you depending on where you're at. Um, but it is a way to offer service back to humanity. And it is extraordinary. Um, last night, I'll give you a little insight on it. I was shown an image while we were chanting to serve. And what I was shown was, you ever have one of those snow snow um, cubes and you shake it and the snow's inside flittering around? That's what I was shown, except it showed me that it was virtue going between all these souls. So heaven was showering virtue on those who were chanting. Those who were chanting were chanting for other souls. So then virtue from the other souls were coming to those that were chanting. And those that were chanting were offering their gratitude and paying off their debts for the things that they have uh, made mistakes for. And so the virtue was going from those that were receiving the virtue to those that they had payments to, to pay off their spiritual debts, bad karma, if you will. And so it was this flurry of, 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 um, karma clearing is probably the best way I can put it, in which 
there was the I was shown that the, the there's you, we all have a heavens team and one of the one or more of the souls on our heavens team records on the Akashic records records our activities and so they were receiving virtue for recording our activity and yet they're recording that we are receiving virtue and so this literally virtue was just flying everywhere and heavens message was that when you chant to serve others when you serve others but in the case of love peace harmony soul song it's very universal it's quite large in its service when you chant to serve others you are actually clearing karma at a very high level when you chant in a group and serve in a group it's quite a bit more than that so it was a beautiful image and it was a beautiful message so do learn more if you're not familiar with it so welcome Heather Clem welcome Rawito welcome uh, welcome also to Kathy Arnold and aloha to Julia Abbott welcome Zilki so I'm grateful to see some folks coming in from Europe today <clears throat> and um, thank you Katie for putting a uh, YouTube in there so today we are focusing on the seventh da uh, and this is in Master Shah's ten das and again to remind you uh, da I the greatest love da Quan Chu the greatest forgiveness Da Tzu Bei, the greatest compassion. Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. And then on Monday this week, Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. Yesterday, Da He She, greatest harmony. And today, Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. Flourishing. Now, flourishing is not a word used too much in the English language, kind of like humility. <clears throat> but uh, it actually was chosen as the word instead of greatest financial gain or greatest uh, money blessings it was chosen because it wasn't limited to that although when master Shah created the um, the uh, ten da set I mentioned this yesterday these are the the ten da calligraphy cards and these are a whole lot more than an art form these are actually miracles uh, on paper but one of these here it is the last one of course is da chong sheng and this one means greatest flourishing so I try to trace mine every day and consistently I have noticed that when I do trace it I am blessed uh, where something happens to to bless me uh, typically financially if that's what I'm asking for <clears throat> so you might have to do a lot more than that because basically what's happened is virtue is released from heaven and that virtue it may come through if we don't have a lot of karmic debt to pay off and it may come through and then go off to pay off that debt so in other words if you got to clear up your credit card before you have more credit uh, that might be what you have to do so I will start by saying get this card if you don't already have it um, through the end of this year I can get it to you for fifty dollars instead of the normal 100 and um, uh, you know you pay a few dollars for the shipping so it's yours forever and you sit there and trace it and you just trace it every day uh, and you can receive huge 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 blessings okay so Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. I want to start by offering a flow, a divine guidance on the, the power, significance, and nature of greatest flourishing. Then I will read from Master Shah's book, which I don't have in front of me, so I'll probably have to move my body away from the camera shortly to go get one of his books and read directly from it. <clears throat> and, um, and then we're going to do some practice, okay? So we'll do a flow first. okay close your eyes listen with your heart so to the soul of Da Chang Sheng the greatest flourishing any of the deeper meanings guidance wisdom and insights that wish to be shared at this time could you please come forth ah for your guidance thank you thank you thank you how this is the soul of Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. Although my name in the history of all time has been mentioned in sentences, I have never been created to be a universal servant as a standalone soul when I was created I was empowered 
with the greatest possibility of all life. I wish for you to comprehend these words. The greatest flourishing is the greatest possibility for all life, for your life, for your neighbor's life, for your children's life, for your enemy's life. It matters not as I am an unconditional universal servant. I need only be honored and asked to serve you. The greatest flourishing does not happen accidentally, as was just mentioned. One can receive a virtue from heaven that translates to physical money on earth. But if that virtue from heaven does not get to you here on earth, it would be as a direct result of there being <clears throat> imbalanced spiritual debt in your Akashic records in heaven. So if anyone wishes to chant me, chant my mantra, trace the calligraphy that was created in my honor, then I would be delighted to serve you. It is equally important to change your mindsets because negativity is much like putting the brakes on a vehicle. You cannot expect it to go forward when there is negativity. So do not to blame the messenger, so to speak. <clears throat> if you do your part and it is not reaching you, you must check your mindsets. You must check your negativity. Are you interested in bringing flourishing to others? Are you a soul who is interested in being of value to this world, blessing and helping others to be happier and healthier? Or is your main interest to serve self? It is the lack of service to others that will also bring a lack of flow of my virtue into your world <clears throat> so you see there are the potential for several obstacles there is even a mindset that some of you might hold such as that didn't work or a mindset such as really just chanting this verbiage or tracing a calligraphy could bring me virtue. This will also act as a throttle, act as a limiter on the value of what you could receive. For heaven and the Tao asks not for anything in return. It only wishes to give, and it does give completely and unencumbered to all souls equally. It is your blockages that are the inhibitor, if there are any at all. So I give you this wisdom so that when you learn the further wisdom to be released today and you act upon it, you do not place blame outside of self if things do not come to you as planned. This is my wisdom that I share with you on this day. <clears throat> it is my honor to bow down to my creator that has created me as a singular soul here to serve all of you, all humanity, and all souls in all universes. I am the soul of the mantra, Da Chang Sheng. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So a very, uh, very nice message from this inanimate soul seems like the little blurry on the vision here huh I don't know what that's about I don't know if it's trying to tune into this behind me or tune into the front let's try this see if that causes it to focus differently okay so hopefully you enjoyed that flow as much as I did I learned a lot um, myself with that one welcome Denise welcome Griselda welcome Christina Dacus Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. Welcome also Johnny Mambode and Master Elizabeth. Aloha. Welcome Santillian. 
And aloha Sherry Sutton, welcome Pat. Welcome also to Trina Carlson. <coughs> and uh, aloha Johannes, good to see you here Johannes, I haven't seen you in a while. So as indicated, I need to excuse myself for just a moment to get the, uh, the book so I can read directly from it. So I'll be right back. Okay, did you miss me? Come on, it's okay, you can admit it. Okay. Da Chang Sheng. Now this again is from Master Sha's book, The Soul Over Matter. And this is actually the, the last one that he talks about in his book. This is on page 109. <clears throat> in this book, he does have the Da Ai uh, and the Da Quan Shu calligraphies. He has put power in these calligraphies. So if you're, if you're one of those that is not sure of the value of the calligraphy or the power in the calligraphy, buy the book. It will help you with your wealth principles. And um, trace as it is suggested, and then you be the uh, judge of the own experience. But do remember this message just came through through the soul of Da Chang Sheng. It is an extraordinarily important message, and it is one that uh, if comprehended and acted upon could bring great value to your life. Welcome also to Trina Carlson. And if I missed any of you, please forgive me. Aloha Raul, Aloha Richie Sanders, and Aloha Chantal. So I will read from this uh, section on Da Chang Sheng, The Greatest Flourishing. <coughs> da Chang Sheng. Chi Da Chang Sheng is the first of the four lines. I'll read the four lines to you. Or I'll, I'll chant them for you. Chi Da Chang Sheng. Dao Tzu Ying Fu Xing Shan Ji Da Dao Ye Chang Sheng. So those are the four lines. Quite beautiful. Qi Da Chang Sheng. Qi means the seven, seven or the seventh. So it's actually Qi, what we know as Qi energy, could have other meanings. Probably the way it's pronounced and also the way they put the little symbols over it. Mandarin Chinese, you're going to have four different uh, uh, possibilities on the same word. In this case, it means the number seven. Da means greatest. Chang Sheng means to flourish or to prosper. So Qi Da Chang Sheng means uh, the, the seventh of the ten Da qualities is greatest flourishing, to flourish or prosper. <clears throat> Millions of people on Mother Earth wish for the greatest flourishing. for their finances and their business, for their health, for their relationships. Why do we need good finances? Money is great energy. That energy must be directed in the proper way. What is the proper way? If we have good finances, we can serve more. What does it mean to serve? The simple answer, one sentence secret, to serve is to make others happier and healthier. To serve is not to drain your bank account. To serve is not to go to the soup kitchen every day. To serve is to make others happier and healthier. And very often it does not require your physical effort. You can do it with your mind. You can do it with your heart. You can do it with your physical effort and you can do it with all three. But change the thinking to serve is to make others happier and healthier. And if you are blessed with greater financial flourishing, then it is an additional way in which you can be of greater service. <clears throat> there is a very important ancient wisdom that teaches us the true value and the true purpose of money. If a person has great wealth but uses the money in improper ways, such as gambling, supporting those who cause harm or take advantage of others, or keeping it to indulge in a life of opulence and a life of luxury, it could create huge negative karma. This person could learn huge lessons by using money in improper ways. 
<clears throat> On the other hand, if a person uses money in the proper ways, such as serving the poor, serving victims of disasters, and supporting other humanitarian efforts, he or she could receive huge blessings. In one sentence, if the purpose, the true purpose of money, excuse me, the true purpose of money is to serve others better by making others happier and healthier. The second line of this mantra, Dao Tzu Ying Fu. Dao is source. Tzu means bestow. Ying means huge. Fu means prosperity, luck, flourishing, and success. I love the ancient wisdom. Master Sha is, is by far one of the most advanced masters. He did not say this long sentence, uh, Tao source brings huge luck, prosperity, uh, uh, and, and, and you know everything else. He used four simple words, Tao Tzu, Ying Fu, because each one of those words carry many, many meanings behind it. So when you chant the words Dao Tse Ying Fu, Dao Tse Ying Fu, Dao Tse Ying Fu, Dao Tse Ying Fu. What's happening? <clears throat> virtue. Virtue is coming. Virtue is coming. Luck. Prosperity is coming. What you chant is what you become. It is a very simple and true one sentence secret. <clears throat> you know, uh, the big way is extremely simple. Tao Fat Ziran, follow the nature's way. When we chant a simple line like that, the whole day, it'd be almost impossible. Well, the next day, you're not having a lot of things happening that look a lot like flourishing. Why? Because that's where your energy is. That's what you're putting out. <clears throat> what you chant is what you become. Now, remember, <laughs> remember the flow that came from the soul of Da Chang Sheng. You can do the work, but if it's not coming, then you have to look at yourself. Did you have negativity? Do you have enough spiritual debt where the virtue that was released is taken away to pay off spiritual debt? right? There are variables that might inhibit it from directly flowing to you in the vast amounts you might wish. So be aware and be consistent is the message. According to the ancient wisdom, positive virtue determines how much financial flourishing, good health, and good relationship a person enjoys. It determines how long a person lives. Positive virtue determines how long you live. <clears throat> um, as a physical being. If you have great financial flourishing, congratulations. If you do not have enough financial flourishing, remember to remove the Jing, Qi, Shen blockages of your finances and business and serve others unconditionally. Jing, Qi, Shen, you remember what that is? We now say it Shen, Qi, Jing. So Shen means soul, heart, mind. Blockages, soul blockages, karmic blockages, Heart blockages, greed, corruption, right? Mind blockages, negativity, ego, attachments. And then there's energy and matter blockages. That's Shen, Qi, and Jing. Qi is energy. Jing is matter. No time to teach all that today. So Master Shah states, you must remove these blockages in order for the flourishing to continue to come into your life. When I am leading you in this chapter to do soul over matter practices for the ten da qualities, these practices are to bring Tao, Source, and Heavens, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, down to you. <clears throat> to bring Heaven's virtue down to you. Who wouldn't want Heaven's virtue? Raise your hand if you want some Heaven's virtue, right? Everybody wants Heaven's virtue. Everybody wants Heaven's flourishing in their physical world. When we do these practices, what? do you actually think is occurring? This is what Master Shah is telling you. When you trace the calligraphies, it's exactly what is occurring. You are bringing the higher virtues, the higher frequencies into our frequency down here where we're suffering. You bring a higher frequency to a lower frequency, one of them is going to shift. It's up to you. How long do you do it? How persistent and consistent are you? 
I cannot emphasize enough, Master Shah says, that Tao's source, soul over matter practices of the ten Da qualities, if you could take time to truly understand the depth, the significance, and the power of these practices, then you would be doing them every day. <clears throat> okay. Let's see the words that he has here for this. I'm going to share a screen. I hope this will work. We'll find out in just a minute. Welcome, Farinaz. Uh, welcome also to uh, Mike LeBlanc. And welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome, Erica. Mm, let's see. Where did my share screen option go? Okay, curious. So it appears that it will only allow me to share a screen when I'm not live, which really doesn't make any sense at all. I don't even know why they would have that choice. Or I need to watch YouTube a little bit more and learn a little bit more. So what I'll do instead is I will drop into the chat box what I'll be chanting. And so take a look in your chat box under my name. Welcome, Helena. And um, welcome, Miriam. And you'll see what I'm going to be chanting here, okay? And we're going to uh, walk you through these lines and what they mean one by one, and then we're going to chant it together. <clears throat> so qi da dang cheng, uh, chang sheng, means the seventh da is da chang sheng, or greatest flourishing. Dao Tsu Ying Fu, the Dao source bestows huge prosperity and flourishing. Xing Sheng Ji Da, Xing Sheng Ji Da means offer kind service, accumulate virtue. Dao Ye Chang Sheng, Dao Ye Chang Sheng translates to your Dao career flourishes. What does that mean? Dao career flourishes. I, mean, I have a career already. I'm a dental hygienist. Uh, you know, I'm a lawyer. No, it doesn't mean that. Uh, Dao career flourishes means your Dao path. the The word career is a word um, with a much deeper meaning, and it means a life commitment. Okay, so your your life commitment to your source path. Dao means the source, the creator, the beginning of all things. You may have a different name for it, so don't square your head around that one. So uh, the original creator of all things, and then the second word means creates the path for you to flourish. One of the meanings, the deep meanings that came up through these previous six Da's leading up to today was that when we employ each of these Da's one by one, when we act, think, and speak with loving tonality, loving intention. When we forgive others, when we show compassion towards others and ourselves, when we stand in the light, stand in Tao Light, Tao Light is inside me, I am inside Tao Light. When we bring ourselves to life with humility, with no need to be gruff and external and right, I am right, you are wrong, you know, stand up for yourself, yell, scream, be mild, be me. Be persistent, just like water persistently drops and puts a hole through rock. Be persistent, but be gentle. And then yesterday, do everything in harmony. Serve in harmony. Think in harmony. Your thoughts, words, and actions are in harmony. When we do these things, we are in alignment with the Tao. Uh, Tao da, um, da da fa 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 da fa fa uh, I'm having a, a brain uh, <laughs> blockage at the moment. Dao Fat Zidran, thank you. Follow, follow the Dao, follow nature's way. And so what does that mean, follow the Dao? That means do those things that are naturally inherent to our natural inherent beingness. We are from the source originally, uh, by whatever name you choose to call it. And so when we uh, follow nature's way, when we follow the Tao source, the natural way, love, light, forgiveness, compassion, humility, harmony, then flourishing is a natural side effect. It's almost an impossibility to not have the flourishing 
or the enlightenment when you follow the natural way. And so when, we, when you chant these words, what in essence you are doing, you are bringing flourishing into your life, bringing the highest conditions for luck and prosperity into your life. You continue to offer kind service to others, not unpleasant service. And the Tao or the source pathway, the source natural approach to flourishing will flourish. Okay, So that's the translation. So now let us chant uh, the four lines in a row. You have them in your uh, uh, chat box there. And so chant with me. Try to um, memorize it so you can close your eyes <clears throat> so that you can focus. Let us do a forgiveness practice first, all right? Let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Drop our left hand in front of our heart center. And let us ask forgiveness. Dear our beloved divine creator, the Tao, the source, by whatever name you go by. Dear all souls of humanity, all souls in all time. If I or my ancestors have offered any form of harm or suffering, made any mistakes that have brought into your life pain or suffering, a lack of flourishing, a lack of flourishing of your health, a lack of financial flourishing, a lack of healthy, loving, flourishing relationships. If I or my ancestors have offered any unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions that have brought these kinds of conditions to you, <clears throat> I deeply and humbly apologize. I understand that simply to say these words is insufficient, that I must be kind, that I must make others happier and healthier, that if I receive any flourishing to assist others as well. I truly and sincerely apologize for this in any time that we may have harmed you in this manner. I promise that with the flourishing I receive in the future, I will do better, I will serve more, and I will be a better student. Thank you for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now the flourishing we receive will actually be a lot, lot, lot higher just because we connected from our heart and asked for forgiveness. This is one of the deepest secrets. What is Tenda number two? Da Guan, excuse me, Da Quan Chu, greatest uh, uh, forgiveness. So ask forgiveness. Definitely ask before you ask for flourishing. Because if you don't have flourishing of your health, of your money, why? Because you earned not having it. You, your ancestors, earned the, the conditions you're in. Might not be what you want to hear, but that is why. So ask forgiveness and it will assist if you are depthful in your request. <laughs> Let us chant. Chi da chang sheng dao tzu ying fu xing shang ji de dao ye chang sheng Chi da chang sheng dao tzu ying fu xing shang ji de dao ye chang sheng Chi da chang sheng dao tzu ying fu Xing Shang Ji De Dao Ye Chang Sheng Chi Da Chang Sheng Dao Tzu Ying Fu Xing Shang Ji De Dao Ye Chang Sheng Chi da chang sheng dao tzu ying fu 
Shing Shan Ji De Dao Ye Chang Shang One more time. Chi Da Chang Shang Dao Si Ying Fu Shing Shan Ji De Dao Ye Chang Shang What does it mean? The seventh of the ten Da mantras is the greatest flourishing. Dao source bestows huge prosperity, luck, and success. Dao source bestows it. Who bestows it? Do you do it? Does your boss do it? Does the people you work with do it? Does the stock market do it? No, there is only one source. There is only one creator there is only one source of any or a lack of prosperity that you have and you are in complete control of that do not think it is accidental you get fired from a job or you get uh, elevated in a raise do not think it's accidental you win a million dollars or lose your house none of this is accidental everything is in alignment with our karma and Tao source creation when you align yourself to these truths, work with these truths, implement the ten da's in your life, you will have a deeper comprehension of the value of each of these four lines. So, Dao Yu Ying Fu, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Dao Source bestows huge prosperity and luck. Those are not simple words, those are huge words. Xing Shang Ji Da Do kind service. Accumulate good virtue. Accumulate. Gather more. Gather more. Gather more. What are the different ways you can create good virtue? Help others. Be kind to others. Chant love, peace, and harmony specifically to serve others. Get a Da Chang Shang card. They're only $50. Trace it, trace it, trace it, trace it all the time. One of the students bought one uh, just the other day. And um, I said, okay, you own this card. Do not share it with anybody else. But you can have this picture on your phone and you can trace it when you don't have your card with you. <laughs> she wants to do this a couple hours a day, 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there. What is that doing? It's literally like bringing, it's like bringing heaven's money into your bank account. Uh, you just do it little by little by little by little by little. It will either pay off debts and make life easier for you or it will bring conditions into your life where things will get easier and easier and easier over time. You have to be persistent and consistent just like the person who has no ego. The, the greatest humility. Be persistent with great vigorous power, but be gentle at the same time. And so this is how you are when you work with these processes as well. The last line, Dao Ye Chang Sheng, Dao Career Flourishes, Source Natural Pathway Flourishes. Okay? So this is the deeper meanings behind this mantra. And so now I will chant to serve each and every one of you with uh, the seven of the ten Da's. And then um, maybe we'll ask Master Shah to, uh, to serve us, <clears throat> see if I can pull up his Tenda video, and we can listen to it possibly. Give me just a moment. Okay. Enjoy this. This is Master Shah chanting the ten dots. Close your eyes. Bring your thoughts to your lower abdomen. Relax and receive the blessing. Shen 
宽恕，我原谅你，你原谅我，相爱平安和谐。三大慈悲，远离争强，服务众生，功德无量，四大光明，我。在道光中，道光在我中，通体透明，五大千倍，柔弱不争，持续。千杯夜万丈，六大和谐，三人同心，七里断金，成功。七大长生，到此应付，行善积德，道业长生，八大感恩，道生德养。再配慈惠，道恩永存。九大福，是为功夫，无私奉献，上乘法门。十大圆满，灵心脑神圆满，人地天道神仙体，不修炼才可攀。好啊 ，Are you blessed? Not blessed. Okay, one more time. Here you go. 一世代无条件爱，荣华在难，心情神明，二大宽恕。我原谅你，你原谅我，相爱平安和谐，三大慈悲，远离争强。无众生，功德无量，四大光明。我在道光中，道光在我中。通体透明，五
大谦卑，柔柔弱不争，持续。身圆满，人地天道神仙体，不修炼才可攀。好啊 ，Are you blessed, not blessed? Very blessed, very very blessed. Okay, I'm dropping that link in there for all you who wish to follow that link. Uh, welcome, Melina. Welcome, Jim. Welcome, Vagna. Welcome, uh, Sarah Penton and Anjali. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, trust me when I say just listening to Master Shah chant that is a massive, huge karma cleansing. Uh, you, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but if you open up YouTube and you put your cursor right in the middle of that video, right click, one of the choices is called loop. They put that bad boy on loop. Go to sleep with it. Chant with it. I tell you, the 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 frequency in there. I am sweating just from the frequencies and the gifts that he was giving right there. It has been said, and those with a third eye can see that when Master Shah sings, literally virtue flies out of his mouth. Uh, who wouldn't want to have, you know, uh, money flying at them? Uh, and that's exactly what happens. Virtue is heaven's currency. So uh, I hope you pay attention to what I'm saying. You know, you know I, I'm not just saying it because because it sounds cute. I'm saying because it will serve you. We all want more flourishing in our life. This is the best way to accomplish it. So remember the wisdom. Remember that in order to have flourishing, we must serve others unconditionally. That that when we do receive flourishing. <clears throat> to to return some of that flourishing and to not complain, to watch our negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, and to disallow selfishness, selfish activities. I have so, so, so far to go with each and every one of these 10 da's. I am probably less than 20% on all of these. And uh, so that's my goal in this coming year to activate these actively in my life and to, to do it much more seriously. So today, uh, that will, Master Shah's chanting will be our blessing. Tomorrow, I will, um, Thursday, I will return with the greatest gratitude, Da Gan An. And the greatest gratitude is probably one I have the lowest score on. <laughs> if I was to score myself in all the 10 Da's, that's where I need the most support with. So I hope I'm not alone with that. Uh, if you feel you need more gratitude, tune in. Uh, and I will go over the mantra for that. I look forward to serving you then. Thank you for sharing and thank you for coming. Love you, love you, love you. Oh, by the way, those who want to get the 10 DAW card for um, any of the 10 DAW cards, they're $50 each. 
but if you want the one for greatest flourishing, Da Chang Shang, I can tell you, if somebody said, here, here's a $50 bill, all you got to do is pull it out and trace the words on it, and every, you know, once once a week, it'll bring you an extra 50. One, 150 brings you 50s every week. That's kind of what this does. Uh, I don't know how else to put it differently to wake you guys up. Contact me either um, uh, email or uh, otherwise, and um, otherwise meaning Facebook Messenger, through my website, whatever you want to do. And I will be here to serve you. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.